Hi, welcome back. And today's video I'm going to be doing an unboxing for two book boxes because I was lazy and I didn't do separate videos for both of them and they came out in February and it is now March 1st. Good job, me. Also, pardon my hair. I tried to curl it this morning. I don't, I don't know what happened. It, I don't. Anyway, so I have the Owl Crate February box and the Page Habit February Young Adult box because Page Habit has like six different boxes, monthly boxes. So I'll start with the Owl Crate first and I will just like, you know, uh, say from the beginning that I already know what's in both boxes because uh, I open them. I can't, if I'm not gonna do the video right away, like if I don't do the video right away, I should say, I will open them right away because I can't sit around and not know what's in a box. Like, that's madness. So, starting with Owl Crate. I'm really excited for this because I could not figure out what the book was because usually you kind of can if you know what books are coming out and like what's coming out in the immediate future and kind of using the little blurb they give you, normally you can kind of figure it out. I could not figure it out and it ended up being a book that I really wanted to buy and I hadn't bought yet. So it actually worked out really well for me. But I'll start, I'll start from the top and work my way down. So this is the Hidden Worlds box. So here's their little um, info card, like the front's got this really cute little illustration and then the back has all the information about all the items inside. So I will start from this cute little bag. It's got Owl Crate on it. And inside we have, I can open it. Oops. This skeleton key necklace inspired by Coraline. There we go. So you don't need my face in the shot to see this. This is really cute. I don't know that I'll actually wear this. Although look, look, it just slips right on. You gotta like necklaces that do that, right? Like, don't have to take them out or anything like that. So, yep, there you go. I'm wearing it. Will I wear it after this video? It's a mystery. Spoiler warning, probably not. I'm terrible at wearing jewelry. That's not just like earrings or my wedding rings. So, anyway. So that is for, um, oh, and it was created by Team Owl Crate, and that's why it came in this little Owl Crate branded bag. So next, this is a Through the Wardrobe Candle by Books on Candle. It's an Owl Crate exclusive. Stop focusing on my face. All right. So this thing seriously smells amazing to me. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, I can just sit here and sniff it all day. I know that's what you're watching the video for, me smelling candles. Um, so this is pine mint vanilla and smells just like a forest in winter. I'm not sure that I've actually ever like smelled a forest in winter that smells like this. All right, where was I? Uh, candle, smells good. Um, so this is cute, this is a pouch. And it says, we dreamed together of the world remade. It's got a little owl crate, owl crate tag on it. And this is um, inspired inspired by da Daughter of Smoke and Bone and illustrated exclusively by Risa Rodile. Rodile? Rodile? Again, I apologize. This is a nice size zip zippered pouch though. Um, and the graphic's really cute. Like, you know, it's, it's really nice on the inside. It's kind of like this uh, plasticky material too on the outside, so it's not really cloth. And I don't know, I really want to figure out like what to use this for, because I actually really like this. I might upgrade my makeup pouch to this. Or pens and pencils, not that I really carry them around, but maybe, maybe, maybe I need to start. All right, so the last item, before the book. Oh no, let me tell you about this really quick. This is adorable. All right, ready? Ah, come here. All right, this adorable little Alice in Wonderland sticker with the white rabbit. And I'm not normally like a huge Alice in Wonderland fan, but this, first of all, the sticker is like freaking adorable. And this is by Naomi Lord. So that's the artist's name. 
this is this is getting stuck somewhere like ASAP because it's just it's it's so cute so now the big item which is this which is giant this is cool but at the same time I have no idea what I'm gonna do with this this is not even gonna fit in the frame of the freaking video all right oh yep this is huge oh no no I kind of regret okay I just kind of regret opening this I guess so there that's that's all I can show you this is too big this is too big look at this look at that <laughs> yeah so I can't show you the whole thing I'm gonna see if I can find like a picture to throw in here or something this is huge this is a tapestry this is a wall tapestry that was uh it's a design by Evie Bookish and you can't see it because it's it doesn't fit but it says books fall open you fall in yeah it's cool I what I did not think it was going to be this big like I knew it was in this box because I kind of spoiled myself um on it but I don't know what I'm doing with this. This is ginormous, honestly. I I guess it's, I mean, it's cool that it's a wall tapestry. I think if they're gonna make it this big, I would have a hundred percent much rather it had been a blanket because then I could use it. I like, my husband and I have so many posters and paintings and prints just like hung up I like pretty much every every space that we can without it being too overly cluttered. There's no wall that I have that does not have something hung on it that I can hang this on. Like I would have to move a bunch of stuff and I don't think he's gonna want me to take down a bunch of prints and posters to put up one in tapestry. So yeah, this kind of, that kind of sucks, I guess, because it's really cool. I just, I don't know what to do with it. So let's move on to the book, the one I'm really excited about. And it's funny though, because I will say I actually, oh no, what happened here? Let's tuck that in. I will actually say that I do like the color of the um, original book more than the exclusive cover, but it's still pretty. So the book that we got this month or in February, I should say, because it's marked now, but is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Yay! And so this is the exclusive cover right here in front of my face. And right here, I will put the original, which it's basically the same. It's just this one is green and gold, and that one was kind of like black and gold, and I really like black and gold. I'm not as huge of a fan of green, although I will say green and gold looks really nice together. So I was really interested in this book and I kind of put myself off buying it immediately because if you watched my January book haul, I got a lot of books in January and I was like, I gotta slow down a bit. I'm not like, I'm not such a prolific reader that I'm reading like, you know, 10 books a month. And can be buying like 20 books a month because I mean even that's ridiculous because you'd still always be over by 10 but whatever so but I'm really excited that it came it came in the owl crate because I really wanted it and and now I got it the book is about um let me see what the character's name is Alice so Alice and her mother have been on the road and Alice's grandmother is an author of uh, like dark fairy tales and she lives in a house called the Hazelwood and I believe what happens is that gra her grandmother passes away and then Alice's mother is actually kidnapped by one of the creatures from her grandmother's books and the only warning that Alice gets is don't go to Hazelwood or something like that stay away from the Hazelwood is what it is so Alice sets out to find her mother with a uh, fan of one of her grandmother's stories because she's come to find out that maybe the, you know, dark fairy tales and fantastical creatures that her grandmother was writing about might actually be a real. So I think it sounds kind of exciting and I mean if I, 
if I kind of butchered that explanation a little bit, I do apologize, but that is what I remember the book being about, and I think it sounds really cool, and I hope it's really good. I haven't really looked at um, reviews yet or seen what people say about it, but here's hoping, and um, so I will say, you know, we do get this um, signed, so here is the page with the signature on it really nice signature in gold which is always cool and letter from the author on some cool paper kind of neat and this was kind of cool I thought so we got um, stickers which is always kind of different I mean I'm assuming I've only had a whole crate for like a few months but I haven't gotten that kind of sticker yet I've gotten like a big sticker before but not a sheet of stickers so so yeah that's uh that's the owl crate box and then really quickly <clears throat> the march box is across the galaxy and the sneak peek is that you will receive or we will receive an exclusive candle from wick and fable and um it's gonna read about what comes in the box because i was actually really excited about it so will be items inspired by the Lunar Chronicles, love the series, the Luminae Files, haven't read it yet, Guardians of the Galaxy, yes, and Star Wars, uh, yes please. So, and the book sounds really interesting and I'm pretty sure that I know what the book is, so I'm actually really excited to get it because it's another book that it was on my list to buy from this year. So all in all, I'm like super pleased with Owl Crate so far this year, like, oh, Actually, I forgot. They did say for the book that the book will have, the exclusive edition of the book will have stained pages, which they've never had a book with stained pages before. And what they're talking about is like if um, any of you know what like Crooked Kingdom or Six of Crows looks like, they have like the staining on the edges of the pages. So that's what the next book's gonna be like. So I'm actually kind of really excited. Now, page habit. So I have gotten a few Page Habit boxes before, but it's not something that I'm keeping as a um, monthly subscription, only because I I just like the items that I get in Owl Crate better. Um, so, but I did sign up for this one because this month's, or February's, A Young Adult box was supposed to be curated by Books and Lala, which I thought was really cool, and she was talking about it, and, you know, she said that she um, picked the book, which I thought was neat, and... Um, though I guess she didn't pick the items. She picked the book and then they picked the items. So that's kind of cool. And I thought, I'm going to give it a shot. I think this is the box. Like, I signed up from her link. And I'm pretty sure it said that it was going to be, like, the book box that she created, curated. And the book is a book that I know that she's talked about and loved. But they don't actually like have anything in here that says like, hey, this box is curated by Books and Lala and it wasn't like a letter from her or anything. Like I kind of expected like even just like a really quick like, hope you enjoy the box or hope you like the book or whatever. So it's kind of weird that Paige Abbott didn't throw that in there. Um, but yeah, we'll just get into it and and we'll go from there. So, so here is... Um, their little info card. So the front, well I guess the front actually talks about um, the books that are in each of the boxes. They actually have eight. I said six earlier. So they have eight boxes and the front shows the picks for this month for those books, for those book boxes. And then they also have, um, you know, they talk about their referral program and on the back they talk about what uh, kind of charity that they partnered with for the month. So for February, they uh, partnered with Books for Africa to donate books to Ethiopia. So that's kind of cool. Um, besides that, um, I don't have like an info card of like what actually came in the box besides like where they list the books over here. So that's kind of weird in a sense, but I guess at the same time, the things that are in the box for Page Habit usually aren't like small business owner created like you know for Owl Crate they have they partner with a bunch of like Etsy shops or creators or whatever that make like bookish inspired goods but this is more of just like things that you could probably find like in a store or online oh my god my hair is awful I'm gonna cry about it 
So the first thing is, this is, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but so the first thing is Rip Van Winkle by Washington Irving. It's a short story. And they actually say up here that the uh, original story is in public domain. So. so they created this little short story booklet about Rip Van Winkle, which is like fairy tale, I guess, kind of. I've never actually read it, so I guess this is kind of cool, but, you know, whatevs. <laughs> I'm not like super, super into it, so. The next item is Talking Bubble Sticky Notes. Uh, and I mean, these are, these are cute. I'll probably take them to work and see if I use them. I don't know how much I'll use them, but. The next is a little bookmark uh, from Page Habit. It says Page Habit on the back, and it says, Sleep is good, he said, and books are better. And it's a quote from George R. R. Martin, probably from, um, you know, Game of Thrones series. And next is a letter from the author of the book that's inside, which I didn't actually like realize that at first because like I started reading this and I was like, is this a letter from Lala? And then, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I, I started reading it and then I realized it's actually a letter from the author. Like I said, it's kind of weird that they don't have like an info card. I don't know. I got the quarterly box and I felt like that kind of went more into what they sent you or like kind of give you a better idea or something. So and the last item besides the book is this, which is like a... A bikini, which is kind of random, right? Just a black beanie. It says bookworm, like right here. That's about it. I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. I don't really need it. I, I'm in Arizona. And even though it's kind of um, cold here, it's not so cold that I normally wear a hat. So, but I, I yeah, it's cool. I don't know. Oh, and actually there's one more thing, and I actually really like this. Um, a pen. And <laughs> so it says, it's one of these pens. Okay, so it says Reach for the Stars. And then there's a little kitty here, if it stops trying to focus on my face. Anyway, and so it's one of those ones where you, here we go, go like that, and then the kitty moves up and down, right? That's adorable to me. And I love that it's a little kitty, and then there's like a galaxy. So the kitty's reaching for the stars. Anyway, so but yeah, like the items aren't as interesting, I guess. I mean, I guess it's good if you don't really want like bookish things in the sense of like quotes and whatever, but I don't know. I also don't really need sticky notes, so I like the pen. So the book that came in the box is the Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza by Sean David Hutchinson, which I have actually never read anything from him, but I do know that, or I have heard people talk about his books before, and the book itself, where, oh my cats, I swear, I don't know where you went. So the nice thing with uh, Page Habit is the books are annotated by the author, so I do appreciate that part of the book. So that is kind of interesting when you're reading through and then, um, you know, the author is giving you like little insights. Um, as they of what they were thinking as they wrote the book or like whatever so that's kind of cool I feel like this is Lala's book box because I do remember her talking about this book and I remember her really liking this book um but like I said it's kind of weird that there's no like indication that it's her book box I don't know um so the book is about Elena Mendoza and she can perform miracles and she's trying to basically figure out why and that's like my really shitty summary for it um, basically it starts out with her healing her friend who, um, from a gunshot wound and going from there, like more and more mysterious things happen. And it says, as more unbelievable things, unbelievable things occur and Elena continues to perform miracles, the only remaining explanation is the least logical of all, that the world is actually coming to an end and Elena is possibly the only one who can do something about it. And I just, I think that sounds really interesting. Like... Um, when I heard people talking about this book, I thought it sounded interesting. Yeah, that's my cat, one of them. He's just gonna put his butt right there in the end. Yep. Right in the, right in the end of my shot, huh? Look at this, look at this turd. There. This is my new booktube partner. We're making a channel together now. It's called books with Nicole and Spike. Yeah. 
Yeah. Say hi. Thank you. Anyway, I'm really excited to read this book. I'm really excited to read the Hazelwood book. Uh, both boxes I'm pretty, pretty good with, pretty stoked about, and I don't know that I'm going to continue getting Peach Habit. I think what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to continue my subscription for Owl Crate. So that one, like, I'm just going to keep for now. But I might try different other boxes every month as well because I just saw a spoiler for the bookish box and I'm pretty sure I know what book is coming in that one and I kind of want it, so that's what's gonna happen I'm thinking so um that's it for now say bye oh, he's just gonna purr he's just gonna purr and be happy that I'm petting him like I don't pet you see you next time